hey guys welcome back again to another video and in today's video we look at the latest version of filmfold version 2.30 So what's new in this version? When we look at the project window where we're creating new project, in the previous version, you don't have this little arrow pointing down. But in this version, we do have that and that is the aspect ratio. So here there are different aspect ratio. If you have a, one of that in mind and you just come here and select this. But if you don't have that, you just go with the default. You can always click the new to create default. Later on, you will have to change that to whatever you want to upload to. So here I have created this uh, project for this tutorial, so let's click that. And again, we're in here, so uh, once we select this, you can see different tools that are activated as usual, but the aspect ratio are here. So you can always come back here to change to whichever aspect ratio you want to. Now, so that's the first thing that is being updated in this version. Now, another new thing that's been updated here is when you use one of these tools, you can see there's a blue dot here indicating that uh, one of the features in this tool have been added to your video clip. For example, in the effects, I have added this to uh, change the uh, look of the um, video here. So that's the second feature that is new here. Okay, so the first uh, thing that is new that we have looked at is the aspect ratio. The second one is the effect the new effect that is added is the uh, glitz and the third is this little dot uh, blue dot here once you apply one of the um, tool here to the video clip it have this little dot indicating that you have been using this now what's the next let's go out here the next is on the text so let's select the text here and go to add a text click and drag this down here double click on it and type in our text bold this and increase this a little bit up here and you can see speed balloon is another thing that is recently being added so you can choose any of this to apply to your text as the background another new thing is the animation as you can see here we have that a new thing that is being totally new that is added to in this version so let's click this and go out here and you can see the entrance here is when your text comes in how you want it so here we have this um, text animation here this is for the character individual of this letter how they will come in here is the group of the text which is all of this text together how they will be coming in so once you're happy with one of these choose that and go to the exit again individual character and as a group you can choose any of these to exit the text to exit out and emphasis here so here we have the glitz shake Heartbeat and different ones here that you can choose from. Let's go for glitz now. And once you are happy, we click and go. And you can see this is uh, we apply this, so we have this little blue dot that is indicating here. Okay, so once we're happy with this, and after editing our video, and we want to save that, you can come here and save it as usual. Let's go back again. But then you, you change your mind. You want this video to be uploaded to Instagram. Let's say for that. So if you want that, you can come here to the aspect ratio. Let's go out first. Come to the aspect ratio and select the Instagram if you want to. And once we do that, we have a problem. Our video clip is now right in the center and we have this black here. We have this black here with the text. Well, the text, we can always scale this down. And again, with the video, we can also do the scaling. So let's go out here, select the video clip and go to transform. In the transform, we have the scale, so let's scale this video up. From there, now you can choose, click and drag your clip to choose where you want to be placing your video. Okay, so once you're happy with that, you can click here to go out. And now you can see it's fit nicely onto your aspect ratio that you have chosen. And if you want to change again, you can always go back again and choose any here again. And go to the transform scale it again to fit in your screen so it depends on uh, where you want to upload your video again thank you for watching and see you all again in the next one